Hi friends, my name's Marley, this is Isla, and you're watching my psychology. Welcome back to another video, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to support my channel, keep up with my family, and learn a little bit about psychology. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating some types of play that are beneficial for your five to six month old's development. The following activities are tailored towards these stages of development, and I'll also be explaining why they're so important. Before we get into it, I suggest that you take a look at my other video that I made for three to four month old babies, activities that promote their development, because you can also do those activities on top of the ones that I'm going to be mentioning today. So at this age, babies begin to understand language and can see clear enough to match the sound of the word to the object or thing. Find ways throughout your day to name things, such as body parts. This is a fun discovery for your baby, as they should have begun looking intently at their body parts and yours. Isla loves these two songs that talk about body parts. Knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes. You put your left leg in, you take your left leg out, you put your left leg in and you shake it all about. It's about time you start your book collection if you haven't already. Reading is great to start at this age because it increases their listening vocabulary and they can listen to changes in tone. This is also an opportunity to expose your baby to rhymes. Some books have a lot of rhymes in them and they're words that are uncommon that you would use day to day. If you're low on funds, then I suggest heading to your local library. Physical books are great for babies as the experience is immersive. At this age, they may try turning the pages. Be flexible, read and chat about the book at their pace. They might try to eat the book, but that's okay. And digital books work too, as long as it can maintain their attention. Just like in the other video where we discussed activities for three to four month olds, sensory stimulation is exciting and wondrous for your baby. Now that they have more arm strength, you can give them some items that they can hold while they're doing tummy time, or just pick up and play around with. Here is a really fun DIY project. Use some clear bottles and bags, then add different things inside of them. When we think of approaching a sensory game, we will be using our senses. Touch, sight, smell, taste, and hearing. So make sure that each thing that you decide to use is loud for some senses. From three months onward, babies can begin to recognize faces from their everyday life. Family, friends, and even their pets too. Around six months, they may even begin to understand names for these familiar faces. To have your baby discover more of your face and faces around them, have them lay down and put the face above theirs. Baby will most likely reach and try to grab parts of the face. Don't worry if they seem like they're attacking or caressing you. It's just how they are learning. Ouch, make sure to cut your baby's nails before you try this one. Many parents try peekaboo right when the baby's born, but they find that there's no reaction. But around five to six months is when your baby will become the master of giggles and smiles. And around this time, they'll begin to learn about object permanence. And that's the understanding that objects still exist even when you're not looking at them. So most babies at this age will find peekaboo an exciting and enjoyable game. Babies at this age will enjoy some light rough and tumble play. If they're strong enough to hold their head up, you can twist and move them around in different ways like this. Isla also enjoys being bounced like she's riding a horse, which is actually my leg. These movements will help your baby develop balance and their equilibrium, as well as strengthen their muscles when they attempt to balance. Isla loves it when I slightly throw her up in the air. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Now is the time where everything ends up in your baby's mouth. My advice is to appreciate this time because soon enough your baby will be crawling around the floor and you're going to have to baby proof the entire area from small things that they could choke on. We often wonder why do babies like to put everything in their mouth? Well, fun fact, before the age of 12 months, babies take in more information through their mouths than through any other part of their body. This is because their nerves in their mouth are the most developed compared to any other in their body. Try giving your baby different objects that they can put inside their mouth. With your supervision, of course. Also, studies have shown that giving babies things to put in their mouth helps with speech development and prepares them for different textures of foods which means that they might be less of a picky eater when they start eating solids. Last but not least, here's an activity that incorporates your baby's sense of smell. Your baby's sense of smell is developing at a high speed rate at this age. So introducing them to new smells can be very exciting for the both of you. Again, it can also help them explore foods before you introduce them to their diet so that they're already a bit familiar with the smells of the food. Isla absolutely loves smelling flowers. I also tried out this activity. I let her touch, feel, and smell these herbs. I watched her very closely to make sure that she doesn't try to eat them. <laughs> well, those are the top ways that you can play with your five to six month old baby. If you have any more fun ideas to promote your baby's development, then write them down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you tried any of these activities with your baby, or if you found this video to be interesting. We'll see you in the next week's video. Bye! Say bye, Ella! <laughs> That's your way of saying bye? <laughs>